uh, where you have, and then you put the variables in such a way that the, they best fit the entries, but the entries are kind of scattered randomly, so you actually get a complicated constraint that depends on where the entry is, who is multiplied with who. Uh, uh, and if you do it sufficiently often, it tends to produce uh, uh, good, uh, good results. Of course, what you can also do, if you don't like this idea, you can even start by, in fact, the convergence might be faster. You start with randomly populating this. You populate this by randomly chosen numbers between 0 and 200. Mm -hmm. And then you solve the optimization problem, and then you revert. And in fact, uh, this choice uh, often tends to produce faster convergence uh, than uh, uniform. Uh, choice. But again, as I say, it all depends on the structure, right? And the coefficients, of course, will be different. Uh, uh, what sits here will be different for each product. Uh, but uh, you can, yeah, that's another method. So the Netflix then did uh, several of these algorithms evaluate how well they performed, and then use linear combination of the values of each algorithm weighed by the, its accuracy, right? That is, of course, what you have to be very, very careful is, is if you always use the same training set, you can get in trouble by, you, by optimizing your algorithm for a particular training set and lose totally predictive values in general. So on each run, you have to screen out different sets of values or even partition your uh, universe in several blocks and keep combining to avoid overfitting over a particular training set. As you can see, if you ask me, it's, it's really ugly method, but it works even better than the neighborhood method. And guess what? We use it because it helps make more money, even if it looks ugly, right? Because money looks very beautiful, right? And offsets the ugliness of the algorithm. It's as simple as that. There you go. So next, OK. I'll send an email with a question what we want to do Next, I have to do linear programming because it's useful for gazillions of many problems in economics, in uh, uh, resource allocation. But then after that, um, there is wide choice in what we can do, some of which are more mathematical than the others, but maybe more important. So I'll send a questionnaire, please. Uh, uh, send back your answers so that I can, we can decide what exactly to do in this course. I want to make it as interesting to you as possible.